granting students with a platform to realize and exercise their other abilities. You can always count on us as POS. Chairperson and members of Board of Governors of University of Rwanda, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Prime Minister of Rwanda, and the proud alumni of the University of Rwanda.
wakoze itorero nyamibwa right honorable prime minister distinguished guests are uh, we are now going to recognize university of rwanda partners who have helped raise these graduates and have helped uh, uh, gifts uh, and award the best performers of this 10th graduation. I would like to call the Vice Chancellor, Professor Kaihura, to recognize these. The Chancellor, dear our invited guests, at this moment we are going to recognize the awards and gifts as were given by our different and valuable partners. But permit me not to necessarily mention each and every gift or award and to whom, but also just recognize what has been uh, uh, the members, the partners, as were recorded here, those who responded by offering what to give. But as usual, every after graduation, we invite these great partners of the University of Rwanda to an event where we also invite those that were awarded to receive their awards. Of course, before I get to our partners, I'll start by informing our guests here that uh, the University of Rwanda is also among those that have awarded. And the University of Rwanda have given awards, prizes to the best performers, where all the best performers from undergraduate programs will be, and those who are willing, will be considered to be hired as tutorial assistants And in addition to that, these best performers that were presented before you, those who want to take any of the master's programs at the University of Rwanda will have a tuition fee waiver. <laughs> Your Honor, sir, this year, our Board of Governors also authorized us to award the best performers in our master's programs. Those who will be willing to be considered to get hired as assistant lecturers and also a waiver of the tuition fees for those who will want to take the PhD programs that we offer at the University of Rwanda. That's the much the University of Rwanda could offer. We also recognize our partners, and I'll be reading them. Uh, we have Unified. If you are here present, you may rise for recognition. The representative of Unified, U-N-I-F-A-D. If present, you may rise. The representative of AGRA, the representative of IIAT, the representative of the Norwegian People's Aid, the representative of NP8, the representative of International Potato Center, the representative of Spark Micro Grants, the representative of Blessed Diaries Limited, the representative of Rwanda Forestry Authority, the representative of Rwanda Council of Veterinary Doctors. Thank you for coming. The representative of Kirimo Trust, Thank you. The representative of USAID, Hanga Kazi. 
Thank you. The representative of Holland Green Tech. Thank you. The representative of Entreprise Surguibutso, Dr. Sina Gerard. The representative of AgroP Limited. The representative of Alpha Milk Limited. The representative of Sopirwa. The representative of Agri Research Unguka Limited. Thank you. The representative of Inyanje Industries Limited. Thank you. The representative of Bera Flowers. The representative of Enabel. The representative of Kinazi Cassava Plant. The representative of Arabiye. Thank you. The representative of Interpeace, Rwanda. Thank you. The representative of MTN. Thank you. The representative of Digital Umuganda. Thank you. The representative of Prime Life Insurance. The representative of GIZ. Thank you. The representative of Akajera Business Group. I'm seeing MTN mentioned again, but uh, we had recognized the representative. The representative of Iqbal, Rwanda. Iqbal. The representative of BK Foundation. The representative of Right to Play. And the representative of ILPD. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. The representative of Rwanda Allied Health Professional Council. Thank you. Thank you. The representative of Clinton Health Access Initiative Rwanda. And those are the ones that we have gotten so far, but many more are coming. But, and as I pronounced, as I announced earlier, we will organize a very big event where the representative of aforementioned institutions and many more that are still coming in, I've been receiving some confirmations, will have a special event where we will invite the awardees and those that will be awarding. We don't feel like we want to give these awards by ourselves. You will be the ones to give them to those that you intended them for. Thank you very much. Professor Kaihura, Vashisi Bahire, Vice Chancellor Hano Amazegushimira, Abafatanya Yukorwa, Wakaminuza Yurgwanda, Avanava no Vadu Fashije, Guhemba, Avanye Shuri, Vahi Zavandi, Mubitro Vitandu Kany, Murum Vako Ariki Yogushimirgua, Kagra to Kakomera Mashi. And best performers, Murum Vako Ibiri Brachaza, Mushonja Muhishiwi. Right Honorable Prime Minister, uh, I would like now to invite the graduates representative, Mr. Rubagumia Francis, to, to deliver his speech. Francis. Right Honorable Prime Minister, Minister of Education, and the Minister of Health, Governor Southern Province, the Mayor of Huye District, the university administration. Today's graduates, distinguished guests, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you all. My name is Dr. Wagumia Francis, 
a freshly graduated medical doctor, and I am extremely honored to stand before you on behalf of all my fellow graduates on this big day. We have come a long journey, thanks be to all parties whose collective effort has yielded to such an achievement. But first and foremost, we praise the Almighty God for the gift of life and for enabling us always. To all parents and guardians, Babjei Narakoze Chane, Kuitanga Mudukunde Tuije, Kuvatwa Tanjira, I in Chuche Kujezanu Mos, Narakoze Chane. On this note, I would like to extend my deep sympathies to the graduates whose parents were taken too early and to those parents whose children have succumbed to any cause of death before this big day. Stay strong. To our selfless facilitators who will go beyond their leisure and also encroach on their resources to make the best of their students, we thank you so much. There are some graduates among us today who have been blessed with brilliancy and generosity together. These have helped lift their fellows from red zones of failure in most times to the success of today. A big thanks to them all. And to our government for making a way through the student's loan scheme with which the majority of graduates here today were able to attend and finish their studies. We do not take this for granted, dear Right Honorable Prime Minister. We thank you very much. And as we graduate today, we also pledge to put to good use our gained knowledge and skills in the building of our country, not only with the spirit of giving back, but also as we sustainably build a better homeland for ourselves and for the generations to come. To our mighty University of Rwanda, we shall forever be indebted to you for making us who we are today academically and for granting students with a platform to realize and exercise their other abilities. You can always count on us as proud ambassadors in and outside our country. Again, a big congratulations to all of us. I thank you all. May God bless you. Honorable Prime Minister and a guest of honor of today, Honorable Minister of Education and other cabinet ministers present, Chancellor of the University of Rwanda, Vice Chancellor, Governor of Southern Province of Rwanda, Mayor of, of Huye District, DVCs, principals, chairperson and members of Board of Governors of the University of Rwanda, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, our graduates and parents, Colleagues, staff of University of Rwanda, all protocol observed, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Um, as have been said, my name is David Tumusime. I'm, a, I'm a, a professor of medical rehabilitation sciences, and I'm happy to be a representative of academic and research staff at the University of Rwanda. And uh, our guest of honor, 
Let me start by congratulating our graduates today for this important achievement in their lives. Congratulations. And we thank you. We thank the parents and the guardians that have supported these students to finish. Uh, very importantly, we thank the government of Rwanda for the support and as it has been said by the representative of the students, most of these students, they had scholarships and bursaries and this is granted by the government of Rwanda through the University of Rwanda and that's why we are graduating such a number today. We cannot take it for granted. We thank you and Honorable Prime Minister take our thanks to the rest of the government leaders for this support. Um, I want to thank the, the leadership of the University of Rwanda and the entire staff, both academic and administrative staff, for the dedication and commitment to work and making UR a conducive environment favorable for learning. Thank you. Honorable Prime Minister, on behalf of academic and research staff and other staff of the University of Rwanda, and on my behalf, I want also to thank you in particular for being with us today, as always. This shows an important and continuous support you always give us as a Yola community. Through you, Honorable Prime Minister, I want to extend our sincere appreciation again to the government of Rwanda for all supports of all kinds that has been given, and specifically to the staff of the University of Rwanda through the management and leadership of the university for the continuous development of our university and the nation. Various developments are noticeable and we can see more coming. And Honorable Prime Minister, I want to mention that we currently have good leadership at the university and we are looking ahead to see this leadership being completed, especially with the missing position of the DVC Academics and Research, of which we consider this position as an important position in our university as the mission, main mission of the university is teaching and research. Honorable Prime Minister, we thank you for the responses to our requests always. Uh, we have been always putting forward requests to you, and most of them have been responded to. I remember in our eighth graduation, we are talking about the new role of the University of Rwanda, the special statute of the staff, and many others. And most of these have been responded to. And we are yet anxiously waiting for our special statutes to be gazetted. We have much hope that with the new structured UR and your support, Honorable, the academic and research staff are and will be able to accomplish their responsibilities and tasks. And that includes teaching, mentorship of students and supervision, as you have seen that we are graduating, gradually increasing numbers of PhDs, research 
that bring evidence to solve different challenges in the community, provide guidance to policies and practice, community engagement, promotion of visibility of the university in the country and the country in general, different collaborations related to be nationally, regional and internationally, in academic and research, to mention but a few. And I want to thank the Yola staff for commitment and strength always put in towards achieving the mention above activities. Honorable Prime Minister, however, uh, as we move and strive to put our university to the heights we want, there are some challenges critically we are facing, specifically to mention, we are facing increasingly brain drain of our staff. And most of these are experienced ones, the well-trained ones, they leave the university and sometimes search for work elsewhere. And losing such experienced staff is a big loss. We cannot achieve the heights we are looking for if we are losing such experienced people. There are likely various factors that cause the staff leaving the university. Some are controllable, some are uncontrollable. But there is, if I can mention like the factor of salary and other remunerations that have been same since many years back, yet the cost of living has changed tremendously. This is one of various reasons that are likely making our staffs live. Thus, as we always do, Advocate Three Honorable Prime Minister, it's our request to the government to look into this issue of university staff salary increment and other benefits. It's a request, sir. Honorable Prime Minister. <clears throat> Honorable Prime Minister. The staff remain committed to the development of the university and are looking forward to serve to their best. And with this, in collaboration with the good leadership we have, the university is going, we are going to put the, the University of Rwanda to the heights we expect. I thank you once again, Honorable, and I thank you all, and may God bless you. Right, Honorable Prime Minister, in addition to all the partners we, we recognize, the University of Rwanda, we also would like to recognize the Institute of Real Property Valuers in Rwanda, WASAC Group, the Rwanda Institute of Quantity Surveyors, Mass Design, Journeyman International, Africa, Afri Landscape, Landmark Studio, Swasta and Associate Architect, Quest Africa, Mashariki Africa, Manumetal Limited, Rwanda Cultural Heritage Academy, Fortico Holdings Academy, and others. Uh, I would like to remind the graduates that all these partners have helped us to recognize you, the best performers, in, and you will receive different gifts and awards and prizes in terms of money, laptops, jobs, you name it. So, it is a bit of chance. Uh, before I proceed, I would like to, rem to, to remind uh, the graduates that, as you may know, you will all go home with your degrees. You will all receive your degrees. That said, uh, as we, when we end this ceremony, you will may sit it where you are and your college representatives will bring your degrees so that you may get them and also have photos with your families because
bashitsi bahire twababwiraga ko um, aba aba basoje amashuri yabo bari butahane impapuro zerekana izo bitima mu bumenyi akaba ari yo mpamvu turi basabe ko baza kuguma bicaye mu gihe turi be tusoje kugira ngo baze kuzibashikiriza banishimana nababyeyi babo naba bandi babaherekeje Thank you. Right, Honorable Prime Minister, I would like to invite Honorable Minister of Education to deliver his keynote speech and please do invite our guest of honor. The Southern Province, Honorable Mayor of Huye, the Chancellor of the University of Rwanda, the Chairman of the Board of Governors, University of Rwanda, the Vice Chancellor and esteemed faculty members, graduates, parents, family, and all invited guests, good day. My uh, quick short remarks to accomplish three things. One is to recognize the graduates, two, to thank the parents, and three, to introduce our guests of honor. First and foremost, Heartfelt congratulations to today's graduate, uh, marking an incredible accomplishment as we celebrate the 10th graduation ceremony of the University of Rwanda. Congratulations. <clears throat> Second, I want to take a moment to thank the parents and permit me to do this in Kenya, Rwanda. Babiei Bahiri, Uyumunsi Numunsi Wanyunamu, Kuko, abana banyu ntabwo ari gushobora kwigeza aho bageze uyu munsi ni ngombwa rero yuko tubashimira namwe ku ruhare mwagize n'ubufatanye mwagiranye na University y'u Rwanda kugira ngo ababana banyu bagere kuri kuri iki kigero gishimishije ari ari kubwabo bawo nyine no kubwanyu ndetse no kugihugu cyacu murakoze cyane today we gather for a truly significant moment. As I pointed, this is the 10th graduation ceremony of the University of Rwanda. This event celebrates the achievement of our graduates who stand poised to contribute to the Rwanda's bright future and indeed to the world beyond. As we mark this milestone, we are reminded of the core value that the University of Rwanda plays in our nation's growth this institution is not only a place for academic learning, but also a dynamic incubator of talent, leadership, and innovation that aligns with our aspiration as defined by our, our president, the president of the Republic, for a sustainable and inclusive development. Graduate, today you join an esteemed legacy of the University of Rwanda alumni who are making a tangible impact across various sectors. Now, it is my honor to introduce the Right Honorable Prime Minister, a true advocate for Rwanda's education sector as a pillar of national transformation, a leader who believes in the power of education to uplift communities. The Right Honorable Prime Minister has been instrumental in championing initiative and reforms for the University of Rwanda, expanding access, enhancing quality, and fostering innovation across the entire Rwanda education sector. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Right Honorable Prime Minister of Rwanda and the proud alumni of the University of Rwanda. Cabinet members here present, Chancellor of the University of Rwanda, Chairman of the Board of Governors of the University of Rwanda, members of the Board of Governors, Vice Chancellor and Deputy Vice Chancellors, University of Rwanda staff, graduates and families, distinguished guests, a very good afternoon. It is a pleasure for me to be back here in Huye and join you once again 
on this uh, occasion of the 10th graduation ceremony of the University of Rwanda. Indeed, I was here five years ago for the sixth graduation ceremony. Reflecting on that visit, I am delighted to witness the significant progress achieved since then. I wish to begin by uh, congratulating our 8,000 graduates in various fields of their studies. You are the reason why we are gathered here, and we commend your efforts and determination throughout your academic journey, which has led to the achievements we are celebrating today. I have no doubt that the University of Rwanda has equipped you with relevant skills, knowledge, and values. We therefore anticipate your contribution to addressing our development challenges. As you go out to serve our nation, we expect you to make a meaningful impact that will positively transform lives in your communities. Today, my message to you, dear graduates, and also to the Rwandan youth in general, is to uphold the values of patriotism and integrity. You should think big, seek innovative development solutions, and undertake impactful projects that benefit both yourselves and the country. You should always remember that the positive transformation of our country begins with you. I therefore encourage you to seize every opportunity that the country offers you. As you move forward, remember that your success is linked with the development of our nation. Our distinguished guests, this graduation ceremony is not only a proud moment for, for the graduating class, but also for the University of Rwanda, Rwanda, Rwanda's management, staff, and partners. Your commitment to providing a supporting learning environment for our students is truly commendable. Today, we also acknowledge the parents and guardians and sponsors for financial and moral support, provide to ensure that these graduates pursue their studies to completion. We cannot thank you enough. On this occasion, my sincere gratitude also goes to the leadership of the University of Rwanda. In particular, the government of Rwanda would like to thank the Chancellor Patricia Campbell and the chairperson of the Board of Governors, Prof. Paul Davenport, for your continued efforts in sending this university forward. We commend your efforts in ensuring the university's transformation by improving education quality, research, and streamlining management and the governance structures. The, success, the success, successful completion of studies for our graduates would not have been possible without the appropriate support of the academic staff. I therefore wish to thank in a special way, all the academic staff for your dedication to the growth and the success of University of Rwanda. Your hard work and the tireless commitment to the vocation of teaching have been instrumental in the success of our students. The government of Rwanda Thank you for your outstanding service and for always going beyond to ensure the highest standards of education. I also take this opportunity to thank all researchers, administrative and support staff at the University of Rwanda. We appreciate, we appreciate your dedication to creating a conducive learning environment for our students. Distinguished guests, as Rwanda aspires to become a knowledge-based economy and an upper-middle-income country by 2035, 
the contribution of our universities is key. Our university should strengthen their research capacity and equip graduates with the right set of skills and the knowledge to drive our socioeconomic transformation. Achieving this goal requires robust collaboration between our universities and the private sector and industry actors. The government commends the private sector's role in a shaping curriculum, offering inter internships and generating jobs opportunities to our students. We encourage the University of Rwanda to continue exploring academia industry linkages to leverage the expertise and resources of private sector actors and ensure skills development of our graduates. Similarly, in the pursuit of advancing University of Rwanda's academic landscape and meeting growing industry demands, our teams have been diligently working to reform the University of Rwanda to uphold the highest standards of education. We are glad to note that since the beginning of this exercise, we have already seen some quick wins, such as the increase in the international student numbers. The fact that 126 students from 24 countries across the globe are graduating today highlights the success of University of Rwanda in attracting international students and expanding its global reach. It is essential that we maintain this momentum. That is why the recent reforms approved by the cabinet early this year will continue to be implemented. Of course, this will not be, of course, this will be done progressively with the full implementation relying on the active participation of everyone. The government of Rwanda would like to acknowledge all those involved in this reform exercise for their contribution in developing innovative and sustainable solutions to transform the University of Rwanda into a world-class institution. It is true that these reforms took time, but once fully implemented, both the government of Rwanda and the rest of Rwanda community will greatly benefit from it. Dear graduates, as I conclude, remember that you are the pride of this nation. Your journey has not only equipped you with knowledge, but also with values that will guide you as you step into the world. I once again congratulate you and wish you joyful celebrations and a successful future. I now wish to continue briefly in Shinyarwanda. Babijeyi batumirwa mwese mwitabiriye uyu muhango. Nongeye kwishimira kwifatanya n'umuryango mugari wa Kaminuza y'u Rwanda ndetse namwe kuri uyu munsi w'ibirori byo gutanga impamya bushobozi ku nshuro ya 10 muri Kaminuza y'u Rwanda. Nagira ndagira rero ngo shimire cyane cyane abanyeshuri barangije bagira kumba umunani batubwiye bakabanje amasomo yabo uyu munsi akaba ari nabo baduteranyirije hano kugira ngo dufatanye kwishimira umusaruro bagezeho Turashimira cyane umwete n'imbaraga abanyeshuri bagaragaje mu myigira yabo bakabageze ku rwego rwo guhabwa impamyo bumenyi mu byiciro bitandukanye muri kaminuza y'u Rwanda Uyu munsi no ibyishimo kuri mwese n'imiryango yanyu kuko mwayihesheje ishema ndetse mugashye ishema igihugu cyacu guverinoma ibitezeho ibatezeho umusaruro ukomeye mu gukomeza guteza imbere Rwanda kandi turabifuriza ishye n'ihirwe mu muzima bwo hanze ishuri no mu mirimo itandukanye muzakorera igihugu cyacu Batumirwa mwese rero umunsi nkuyu kandi bari umwanya mwiza wo gushimira ababyeyi ndetse nabambangije babashimiye abarezi abari mu kaminuza abashakashatsi abatera nkunga nabandi bose bagize uruhare mu 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 myigire y'abanyeshuri barangije amasomo yabo 
byumwe hariko turashimira abarimu bose bakaminuza kumurava n'ubwitangiye bakora na kazi kabo no gutanga ubumenyi guvano mizirikana imbaraga nyinshi mukoresha kugira ngo abanyeshuri babashe kwiga neza kandi n'igihe gitera imbere turashimira kandi ubuzi bwa kaminuza y'u Rwanda ku ntambwe ishimishije kaminuza y'u Rwanda imaze gutera byumwe hariko twishimira ko mu banyeshuri barangije amasomo yabo harimo abarengijana bakomoka mu 2024 bitandukanye byo kwisi ibigaragaza ko kaminuza y'u Rwanda ikomeje kunoza ireme ry'uburezi bo yitangirwamo ku buryo n'abanyeshuri baturutse hanze y'u Rwanda bishimira kuyigamo kuyigamo kunoza ireme ry'uburezi rero bigomba gukomeza kandi tukinda kwintambwe imaze guterwa yasubira inyuma nkuko mubizi mu ntangiro z'uyu mwaka hatangajwe amagugurwa kaminuza y'u Rwanda yaramaze igyategurwa ariko yemejwe na inama y'abaministri mu ntangiro z'uyu mwaka uyu munsi turishimira ko imwe mu byari bitaraje mu mahugurwa byatangiye kuba mu bikorwa ariko bikaba gikomeza gushyirwa mu bikorwa hari n'ibindi bizagenda bikorwa kandi mwese muzakomeza kubigira mu ruhare uko impinduka twivuza muri kaminuza twese zizatugira kamaro ari kaminuza ara bakozi bayo ara barimo ndetse n'igihe muri rusange banyeshuro mwa impamya bumenyi ubutumwa bw'ingenzi twabageze uyu munsi ndetse n'ubyiruko muri rusange n'uko kwitwara neza mugakunda igihugu mugakorera igihugu kandi mukirinda kwiyandarika mugakora kuryo mukoze bitanga umusaruro ari umusaruro ku nyungu yanyu bwite ari umusaruro ku miryango yanyu ari umusaruro ku gihugu mbasaba rero sakura mwenda kachiro nziza zumu nyaru wanda mbimo itano kanyi mzakora kani tuwa mejesha ko hijugu chanyo chiba teze ho jinshi mkujiteze mbele no mwendu kanziza za majamesha murakoze mweza mjirumu simiza kani mjire ilu rikizi kura washimu it's honorable prime minister thank you for incredible pieces of advices and also um habirwa benshi akumva bene yo nuvuze mushimira abari mu bakaminuza n'umwe ari mu bakaminuza turashimye ko mudushimye ari byinshi twumvisemo uh right honorable prime minister distinguished guests uh, i'm honored to invite the delegate chancellor to adjourn this congregation vice chancellor virtue of the powers and authority invested in me, I hereby declare this congregation of the 10th graduation ceremony of the University of Rwanda at Jones. Nabasoje 
nabasoje ibyiciro barimo ko baguma bicaye mu gihe bategereje ko babaha impamya mu mezi zabo kandi no girangira ni mukomeze mugira umunsi mwiza ibiro biracyakomeza nyuma yaha abatumiye bose baraza guhurira muri cocktail aba protocol za kudufasha babereke uh, distinguished guests uh, at the end of the recession, we will all meet for a cocktail. And the protocol will help us to show the location. The band, as you get ready, I would like to invite uh, right on.